Okay, good morning. It is 9.07 a.m. Friday, February 2nd. This is take three of the podcast. Take three. Um, I forgot that I have to be close to the microphone, but it's fine. We're going to keep going. Um, let's see. And I am joined with two very special people. Why don't you introduce yourself? I'm Chloe. I'm Lola. Yeah, these are my very good friends. <laughs> Today we're talking about Jane the Virgin, which Ooh. I just finished. I watched Ooh. it many years ago, so I don't I remember it that like much. a couple months ago. Okay. Yeah. So we're talking about Jane the Virgin. First, let's just go through the plot. I watched it most recently, so I'll... Yeah. Can you, like, we can summary? go through it. Okay. So, I have written down... So, Jane is the main character. Mm-hmm. Her grandma is, like, uber-religious and mm-hmm. taught her at a young <laughs> age that, like, her virginity is, like, sacred and that she, like, ri- like to be scared of it almost. Like, it's... She was pretty... So, she, like, had a flower that she crumpled up and then was, like, put it back together and then... Yeah, oh. and then like when like, it you can't put, back you can't put it back together, uh, so that's like the analogy, oh, guys, I remember, don't. and that just like <laughs> sticks with her. But the big thing is, she is accidentally inseminated, with with the sperm of like a man that she had a crush a on, really hot man, a really attractive, really man. hot, a really attractive man. He's the reason I watched the show. Yeah, like that's I had no interest. He's kind and of I saw him he, and I was like, he's kind of a d head sometimes though. Okay, but For he's sure. hot, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. I, I don't know. Sometimes I was really upset with him. Well, because he's just stupid, and I feel like he's so handsome that he doesn't really have much up here. So he he's likes kind of snobby. Because yeah. he's so rich. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if he ever... He doesn't really get over it that much. Well, I mean... But like, a little sweet. bit. He Eventually. is sweet. Well, he was, like, sweet at the beginning, too. Yeah. He's sweet he until, weird. like, the smallest thing happens to him, and then he's well, like, he blows giant. up, because everything's about him, you guys. Yeah. yeah. Everything. He's got some anger issues. So yeah, she gets inseminated by his sister. Yep. Mm-hmm. She's a lesbian. That's true. <laughs> that is true. We'll but get right. we'll get into that with Rose. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So um, but yeah, she's accidentally inseminated with his sperm, and they used to have a thing, like like a short lived like twenty four hour thing, um, but she was like she's like into him, except she has a boyfriend, Michael. Mm-hmm. Who are you guys a fan of, Michael? Mm-hmm. I'm Team Raphael. Like, I'm also Team. I liked. Well, Michael I liked like Michael nice, before he's he so died. Boring. Like, yeah. yeah. He's like. like he's, he's like. You know. He's like un. He's like I don't know unsalted. Food. He's like potatoes. I was gonna say he's like mayonnaise or like white bread. He's like oh my god he's like Wonder Bread. Wonder like, Bread. Like, bread. Like, yes. I like agree. the middle slice of Wonder Bread. Like, yes. It's like <laughs> kind of good, but it's like so boring. Whereas like Raphael is like a good bowl at Chipotle. That is the realest thing you've ever seen. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyways, Team Raphael, because he's just more seasoned. You know what I mean? He's more seasoned. Yeah. Um, let's see. What else do we have? Um, yeah, so Jane is, is also a waitress at Raphael's hotel that mm-hmm, he owns. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So she's around him all the time, and now mm-hmm. she's pregnant with his, tri- his child, and he has a wife, Petra. Petra. Thoughts on hate her. She's thoughts on her. She's she's, she's so pretty, but she's so annoying. She just causes so many problems, and because like, like they could have so easily been avoided if she didn't exist. Exactly. Like she she's just like <laughs> there's no point of her. She's just like I don't know, like a crumb that won't leave your mouth. Yeah. I Maybe. like her arc. At the end of the yeah. season, she's better. She's not, she 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 no memory. She but like because she y'all. has okay wait should we spoil yeah. spoilers <laughs> she <laughs> also ends up having Raphael's children yeah she what has, yeah she, she has, has twins. twins oh yeah no guys I remember that don't even and that's that's when she starts to get better because she's like okay I have to be better for like yeah. my well, kids. she was like, like I'm a mom now. she yeah. suddenly she had kids and she's like I changed and then it's, I'm better she might, doesn't she date a woman yeah why is she what yeah she becomes a lesbian as well yeah. <laughs> Gay as people. well. As well. <laughs> Representation. <laughs> yeah, just so you know that we're not being homophobic, we're bisexual. She can't say anything, though. Straight-ass mofo. 
That's why she's on this side. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I see how it is. <laughs> um, oh, there's also Jane's parents, Ziamata, who is who is like a teenage pregnant teenage mom. Um, she's but great. She's, she's amazing. I love, she's I love such her so a good much. Mom. I love her all the time. She's so understanding. She always wants to make sure Jane's okay, and yeah. she's like so like she makes sure that they're equal. But like yeah. when she needs to step in a mother, like the role, roles kind of like yeah. yeah. So I really like her. It's amazing. And then the long lost father, Rogelio. He's just weird. Honestly, like, he's like, good. He's like a lot to take in. Mm. He's just so. And he thinks he's the. Can I say the S word? Mm-hmm. He thinks he's a shit, but he's not even the fart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was really good. That was really funny. Anyway, so I don't really. I mean, he's like there, but I just like, again, if he wasn't there, I feel like nothing would have changed. Yeah, he has some really sweet moments, though. Yeah. yeah. I feel like he's always crying. Yeah. What are we... Oh, we've kind of already hit a lot of this, but uh, just, like, overall thoughts about the show. It's pretty good. I do recommend uh, it. Actually, if, you're, if you, you want emotions watch. to be like this, you should watch it. It's, like, the best drama show I've watched. In yeah, because it, it's, it's like a telenovela, kind of. Yeah, it's you know like just I mean? very dramatic. Can you explain a telenovela? Um, I'm pretty sure a telenovela is, like, a... It's, like, a... It's like an over stylized, <laughs> like Spanish soap opera. It's that's yeah, kind of yeah. what it is. It's, it's just a soap opera. But yeah, it's... and it's like super. Fr- Have you watched K dramas? It's like the same thing. <laughs> I can't answer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. If you watched a K drama, it's the same thing. It's just a very dramatic. <laughs> uh, it's just dramatic. It's very dramatic. And it's like, but it's, that's every it's, episode at the end, it's like, dun, 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 you know what I mean? It's like fun to watch because you're always in suspense, but you can kind of like figure it out. Okay, so the last thing that I have is standout moments in the show. So like things that you remember, you mentioned one. Yeah, the scene where Jane comes home and like finds out Michael's dead. I also remember... Oh, she's vivid- got chills. <laughs> I also remember vividly the milk, the milk, milk. The milkshake thing, like, do you yes. guys remember like the mom on like Jane's birthday is sort of sitting there? Oh, uh, what kind of milkshake drink? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. that really vividly. Yeah. Uh, I love Ziamata so much. She's so good. I don't know what else. I also remember when Jane finds out that she's pregnant. Mm-hmm. And she was like, <laughs> "There's no way. <laughs> You're joking." I'm a virgin. Yeah, and they're like, "Are you sure?" Bola. Um, I mean, you hit all the good ones. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm trying to think. I remember when that one guy like falls off the balcony. I literally and, was like, just oh, stuck with the ice. Yeah, yeah. there are some like memorable. crazy like Weird. kills in yeah. here sometimes. Yeah, like, that one was wild. And oh. when they take Mateo. Yes. Like, right after he was born, and that she, was... she like goes in her. And then that's another one where they ended the season. Yeah, it's always on the like. The I would have been container. so mad. I can't imagine. I have a couple. I have Raph and Jane kissing for the first time, where they're like on the bench and all the rose petals oh, are falling. That was so oh cute. God. That was so cute. I know. I love. I love all like the stylized like rose petals, snow, mm-hmm. like all that stuff. Um, yeah, like the when um, she first meets Michael and there's like the the snow and yeah. like the ceiling and the music. Yeah, it's always like so. I was gonna say I have written here the music, amazing. It's it's so good. good. It's the sound effects are just perfect yeah. when they yeah. like add. And oh my, they did this later in the series, but they like tweaked the music later in the series to add like horns and like yeah. brass and everything. It's like so there's like this just like huge sound, like especially when like there's like kissing or romance. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, Oh, it like gave me chills like the first time I heard it, and I was like, "Whoa!" Like, why did you guys go so crazy on the music for this? Yeah. Insane. Um, and then the last one I have is Mateo's birth. That made me cry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Me too. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh! And like, they keep going back to like the bus. Like, they like hijack a bus a bunch of times in the series, yeah. <laughs> which I think is really funny. Um, there's a lot of like long bits in the whole series. Like yeah. that. And I think it's really good. But yeah, she like names it after everyone. 
and that made me cry. Cause like Mateo is her dead grandfather's name, I think. You know, yeah. I'm gonna trust you. Yeah, cause do you think you can name the whole name, Mateo? No. Gloriana. I, I, sure. Why are you looking at me? I have no idea. Mateo Gloriana. I'm gonna trust you, Cooper. Cause I no, because it's I Jane Gloriana Venueva. Yeah. It's Mateo, and then he took one name from the abuela, mm-hmm. and then one name from the mom, one name from Rogelio, and then Raphael's last name, Jane's last name. Yeah. He had a crazy yeah, long name. That was kind of a bit. I, I can't name it. The last part was Solano Villanueva, yeah. and the first one's Mateo. Mm-hmm. No memory. That's okay. I didn't even remember Mateo's name. <laughs> <laughs> I love Mateo. Yeah, I think that's that's all we have to say about that. So I don't really have an outro. Do you guys have any ideas? Normally I just wave to the camera. This was catching up with the stone. Uh-huh. Take three. Take three. Okay, now we have to do the... Oh, well, can we do a thumbnail? Yeah. What should we do? Um... Perfect. Okay. All right, now let's wave to the camera and say bye. 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 bye.